guys, welcome back to YouTube, Clue and Mufflers. How y'all going? Tonight I'm just playing around with my ute. It is uh, slowly becoming something. It's been a bit of a long-term project. Three years ago, I was meant to take six months and it's been three years. I've got the front brakes all re, all the brakes have been redone. So this is the, the getting the brakes sorted. Just bought myself this little guy. I'm not really sure about this purchase. I've never used one of these before. It's a one man bleeder. The bleed o -matic. I don't know, that's gonna be interesting. So the trick is tonight to get the um, the rear brakes, I gotta get them fitted up. That's it down there. So fit up my rear brakes and uh, hopefully bleed this thing. Um, so yeah, see how this goes down. Here's what I've been working with. Um, I've got everything just redone. So some old pads, some old lines and whatnot. Got new hard lines for the rear. We got in here new soft lines, new calipers. Use disc brakes all around, ten bolt rear with discs, um, which is a nice setup. When look, everything was working just fine. I just I've gotten really carried away with this car. Every time I touch something, I have this built-in thing to me just to rebuild every component of it. So here I am doing so. The old ones had you can see it had line joins in it. Had two line joins. I'm going away from that. We're just going to go for one big solid line to replace it. So it just gets rid of that, I suppose. New calipers. The new ones are in. Master cylinders in. All new lines are in the front as well. So it's just the rear to finish off and bleed up. So I'm going to get into that and rip this wheel off right now. And um, start with this side to the other side. And we'll do some bleeding. So that's my freshly rebuilt caliper. Um, Brookers. Brookers here on the Sunshine Coast did these for me. They did a really good job too. Knew exactly what they were when I got there. See, I had broken pins and a few other little bits, so just a bit average. So we, we went all out, full rebuilds. Bolts have been any seized. Of course, doesn't have anything, didn't have anything previously retaining this line to the axle. So I've got a couple of these with the uh, push clips. Where are they? Some of these little clips to go through it. So it's gonna retain my brake lines correctly and I'll weld that to the housing when I go back to the workshop. And there's some new pads. Ta-da! So yeah, calipers went again. They were still within spec. They were looking pretty good, so I've reused them. So we'll put some new pads in her. And uh, that'll be the rears. And it bled up, and hopefully this all works out well for me. Well, that was an instant fail. This little guy here, because this is off a, a coil sprung car, and this is on now leaf, I've got to make some adjustments. I'm going to put some lowering blocks in it, which is going to overcome most of these failing issues. But it looks like there's a set of reliefs in here that I can remove this to. Just went to put it on. This is hitting the leaf pack really hard here. So hopefully I can just skip it around these couple of movements. Yeah, I've got perfect extras there. I reckon that's where they've gone wrong. They've just assumed they were the right ones. I'll move around a little bit and I think I'll get that right. Alright, well that moved around is fine. This guy here has got a little less purchase than it had before, but not by a lot. These, these other two, they're totally fine. Give that a shot, see if it fits now. All right, I'll show you the issues I've got here. This is the rear diff out of like a HZ or something along those lines, maybe up to a WB with the disc brakes on the back end, which is super awesome for my application. But because you can see where the old mount was cut off over there, you see down here where the handbrake is. Oh geez, can you see in there? It actually, when the lever goes to pull, it fouls somewhat on the uh, the leaf pack. I was going to remake that bracket and get all funky with it, but I worked out that because I'm going to lower this car anyway with two inch lowering blocks in it, it's actually going to fix the whole issue. So, happy days to that little problem. So, I was mucking around under the car, couldn't work out why. I couldn't get this to go back up to where it goes in the chassis to split for the two lines and the diff. The bastard's got no bloody thread. Check that out. This one that came off the car. Where are we there? Coming to focus, coming to focus. Anyway, that one has thread in it. This bad boy here, she ain't got no thread. So that right there is gonna stop my entire night from getting the brakes finally completed on this car. That just straight up sucks. I guess it's no one's fault. These poor buggers lost out because I've just wasted all that gear, but kind of wasted my night. Anyway, we'll fit this fellow up, finish up the hard lines, can't bleed anything, so it kind of blows. Bugger, man. Anyway, we'll get back to this one soon. 
How has it been, John? Any climax? Doors going down. I put the wheels back on, except for that wheel. That's my enthusiasm level right now. So I'm gonna get the right part, and we will get back to this video ASAP. You guys won't even know what happened. The next frame is gonna be me fitting a part. Welcome back, guys. I know this isn't a real wel welcome back type scenario because if you're watching this video, this just only just happened, and you don't know it's been a week, but it has been a week. A week has gone by and I have a new one of these. This worked out really well. I um, spoke to the guys down at Brookers. We all had a good laugh about the fact it had no thread in the end of it. This one has a thread in the end of it. Where's the camera? There we go, there's a thread in the end of that guy. So, I don't know, one of those simple little things. I guess it was just manufactured incorrectly. They made me up a whole new line. We're good to go again. So, back to where we were. So this is the setup, the bleed o -matic. So this is linked on, sorry about the light. I'm actually using my phone as a light because I broke my torch. So this is all going incredibly well. So this little fellow here is going onto the bleed point, it runs a line into here. There's a tube in here that runs to the bottom. The idea is, as fluid comes through and air comes through, this little fellow is gonna fill up with fluid, but the tube goes to the bottom and air will come to the top. So if it does, when I let off the pedal, pull back, all it's gonna do is pull back fluid, air goes to the top and it can escape. If this works, this is just utter genius. I'll be thoroughly impressed. So this is the back passenger corner. Let's start bleeding him and see where we end up. The good news is I found another torch. That's a bonus. That is us full in the reservoir, which is also brand new. The front lines are the originals. There was absolutely nothing wrong with them, so we didn't replace them. I'm gonna set up the camera down the bottom and start pumping and see what happens. I believe disaster has struck. I'm gonna have fluid coming out the front somewhere. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, it's coming down that one. I think that bleed is not locked off. Bugger, bugger, bugger. There's always gonna be something, doesn't there? Grab my 10 mil and sneak under there real quick. Guess we got fluid down the front already. It's half lit. Oh! Tell you what, things are so much easier with a workshop than sitting here on this bloody garage floor. <clears throat> anyway, that is what it is at this stage. I couldn't really have it pulled apart in the workshop with no brakes. What have we got up here? Where are we? There you are, little bugger. Yeah, he's loose. That sucks. Get done up. He's very loose. Yeah, that sucks. Come on, little guy. Jeez, he is all the way undone. It's funny, I checked him. I thought I checked all of them. Must have missed this fella. Okay, cool. Right, try that again. Jeez, I was starting to lose faith there for a second. I've been pumping for a while. I guess it's all new lines, so it's a long way to get to the back of the car. I guess that works. I can see a little bit of air traveling back. So uh, I'll top the reservoir off and let a bit more come through and we'll call that a win. Well, I'll be bugging, eh? Isn't that a nifty little thing? Nip him off there. I guess that's kind of it. We'll go back and do a final bleed at the end, but I reckon that's pretty good for 
Doing it by yourself, not bad. Well, that's a wrap for tonight. Um, I'm gonna call this a little uh, winner. I think I did the trick just fine. Um, I still need to go through, the pedal's still a bit spongy. You can't bottom out your pedal and, oh, phone's doing silly things. Can't bottom out the pedal and lock it off. So I think I'll still go around it, just do a quick top off with someone who can give me a quick hand on that. But all in all, I think this is a winner. I got them 90% bled um, for a $15 part that worked a treat. So pretty happy with that. Thank you so much for watching guys. Um, please like, subscribe, follow us. We do a bunch of different things with either exhaust systems on cars through the business, Kalu and Mufflers, or it's project cars, whether it be this one or whatever else I'm playing with at the time. So catch you all in the next one.